A gang problem at a Valley Juvenile Detention Center. Channel 5's John Paul Barajas met with a gang expert to find out more about why it's happening and other gang problems in the Valley. A problem in every city that begins at home. He explains the recruiting starts early. It's an issue that's plagued the Valley for decades. Police say it's a never-ending battle for our kids' lives. Gang rivalry started to boil over at the Evans Juvenile Detention Center. A report of a 33-person brawl between the youth was released by the Office of Independent Ombudsman. Comes down to recognition. Who's who's more recognized? Who is who has more? It's, it's all about power and control between gangs. San Juan police chief and gang expert Juan Gonzalez is not surprised to hear of the fight. We reached out to Evans. Their communications director told us 33 kids were outside during the fight, but only 10 were involved, according to staff. No serious injuries were reported. Mostly every city here has a gang problem. Chief Gonzalez says this problem has been here since he became chief more than 10 years ago. Local street gangs recruit young kids. How young do these kids start and how do they get involved at such a young age? Middle school is uh, the prime time. Chief Gonzalez adds recruiting takes place at parties, schools, and even on social media. He wants help from the parents. The chief tells us once these kids go down this path, it's hard for them to ever get off. It ends up leading to bigger problems. They get involved in more violent crimes and property crimes such as auto theft, burglaries, robberies, and eventually some of them commit murder. Evans Communication Director says they do have a gang problem at the facility. They are in the process of hiring more staff to better handle the kids and any other problems. Chief Gonzalez says we're lucky to have the Texas Anti-Gang Center in McAllen that focuses on cracking down on this problem. He adds local law enforcement have to work with each other because gang members don't have jurisdictions and jump city to city. In the studio, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News at 6. No, police say parents need to look for warning signs with their kids. This is Channel 5 News Extra. Chief Gonzalez advises parents to check your child's after-school activities. He says make sure they're attending class and look for any disciplinary problems in and out of the home. Also, many gangs require new recruits to commit a crime or use drugs as an initiation. They say the bigger the crime, the more respect they get within the group. Gonzalez says parents can call the police department and ask an officer to speak with their child.